Welcome to the public meeting for the Northeast 36th Avenue Widening Design Project. This public meeting is about the future widening and related improvements, including a bridge over the CSX Railroad along Northeast 36th Avenue in Ocala, located in Marion County, Florida. This project consists of three segments from State Road 492, or Northeast 14th Street, to Northeast 35th Street. This presentation will cover a project overview, project features, which will be described by segment, ways you can share your comments, and project contacts. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to DOT compliance with Title VI or Title VIII may do so by contacting either Jennifer Smith, Title VI Coordinator for District 5, or Jacqueline Paramore, who is Statewide Title VI Coordinator for DOT. This contact information also is on a display board at tonight's meeting. In addition, Title VI complaint cards are available tonight at the comments table, so you may fill those out while you are here and leave them behind at the sign-in table. All inquiries will be handled according to DOT procedure and in a prompt and courteous manner. This Northeast 36th Avenue project has been divided into three design segments. Segment 1 is from State Road 492 or Northeast 14th Street to Northeast 20th Place. Segment 2 is from Northeast 20th Place to Northeast 25th Street. Segment 3 is from Northeast 25th Street to Northeast 35th Street. The entire project is approximately 1.5 miles in length and includes an existing at-grade crossing with the CSX Railroad. Although Northeast 36th Avenue is a City of Ocala roadway, the Department of Transportation, or DOT, is sponsoring this design project. The design plans for Northeast 36th Avenue are based on the results of the previous study, known as the Project Development and Environment, or PD&E study that was completed in 2015. Suntran is the local bus provider and there are four sets of stops along this part of Northeast 36th Avenue. The purpose of this project is to create a safer corridor which will accommodate the movement of vehicles, including buses, pedestrians, and bicyclists while also addressing requirements of the Americans with Disabilities Act. Today, Northeast 36th Avenue has an at-grade crossing at the CSX Railroad. Rail traffic has increased significantly, which interrupts circulation in this area. Northeast 36th Avenue will be bridged over the CSX Railroad. This change will allow continual movement along Northeast 36th Avenue, even when trains are using the CSX rail line. Drainage improvements will accommodate the widening of Northeast 36th Avenue and signalization will be updated to meet current standards. At the completion of this design phase of the project, there will be a set of construction documents that will be used for bidding and construction of the specified improvements. Now let's review each project segment. Segment 1 is part of Northeast 36th Avenue from Northeast 14th Street to Northeast 20th Place. There is a traffic signal at the intersection with Northeast 14th Street. Also in Segment 1, you'll find the City of Ocala Water Treatment Plant and three neighborhoods, Fox Meadow, Village Square Apartments, and Village West. For this roadway, there will be two travel lanes in each direction, with each lane 12 feet wide, buffered bicycle lanes that will be 5 feet wide, sidewalks that will be 6 feet wide, and a 20-foot median. To accommodate these changes, a total of 102 feet of right-of-way will be needed. Since the existing Northeast 36th Avenue has 60 feet of right-of-way, additional right-of-way will be needed. Improvements here are similar to the ones presented in the PD&E study. There will be one pond location to accommodate Segment 1's drainage needs, which will require additional right-of-way. The existing traffic signal at Northeast 14th Street will remain. However, the ways in which parcels are accessed will change. There will be a full median opening at the water treatment plant and Village Square. 
The remaining median openings in segment 1 will be directional ones. They will be located at northeast 16th place, northeast 17th place, the northern driveway at the water treatment plant, northeast 19th place, and northeast 20th place. As an example, if you are leaving Village West and want to go south toward Silver Springs Boulevard, you will make a right turn followed by a U-turn at Northeast 21st Street. The design for Segment 1 will be completed by Spring 2017. As of now, right-of-way acquisition and construction are not funded. Now, let's review Segment 2. Segment 2 is just north of Segment 1, which covers Northeast 36th Avenue from Northeast 20th Place to Northeast 25th Street. Within this segment, you'll find the India Cultural Center, Living Hope Community Church, and several industrial parks. The at-grade crossing with the CSX Railroad is signalized. The roadway features and right-of-way needs for Segment 2 are the same as those for Segment 1. Today there is an at-grade crossing where Northeast 36th Avenue meets the CSX Railroad. To improve safety and traffic flow in this corridor, a bridge will be constructed over the CSX Railroad. This will separate the vehicles, pedestrians, and bicyclists traveling along Northeast 36th Avenue from the rail traffic along CSX. The bridge will be 95 feet 2 inches in width and will include the same features as the roadway. The bridge location has led to changes to the Texas U-turn concept that was presented during the PD&E study. The access road entrance for the Texas U-turn will be relocated to improve access and traffic flow. The U-turn intersection has shifted further to the south, which is a slight modification to the PD&E study concept. Also, Northeast 24th Street will be realigned. This adjustment will maintain access during construction while also reducing fill requirements. North of the real line Northeast 24th Street, there will be a directional median opening. Improvements here are similar to the ones presented in the PD&E study. There will be five ponds to accommodate drainage needs for Segment 2. Two ponds are located north of Northeast 21st Street. The two ponds located north of the CSX Railroad are associated with the realignment of Northeast 24th Street. The fifth pond also will meet the drainage needs for Segment 3. Segment 2 is fully funded through construction. Design will be completed by Spring 2017. Right-of-way acquisition will occur from Spring 2017 through Spring 2019 with construction to follow. Now let's review Segment 3. Segment 3 is just north of Segment 2 and includes the part of Northeast 36th Avenue from Northeast 25th Street to Northeast 35th Street. Within this segment, you'll find Spanish Oaks and public storage. The intersection with Northeast 35th Street is signalized. The roadway features and right-of-way needs for Segment 3 are the same as for the other two segments. Improvements here are similar to the ones presented in the PD&E study. The pond location shown here is sized to accommodate drainage needs for Segment 3. Since it also will meet some of the drainage needs of Segment 2, this pond will be constructed when Segment 2 is built. Also, the plans for the intersection at Northeast 35th Street will match up with Marion County's design plans to widen Northeast 35th Street in this area. The existing traffic signal at Northeast 35th Street will remain. However, the ways in which parcels are accessed will change. There will be a full median opening at Booster Stadium. The remaining median openings in Segment 3 will be directional ones, located at Spanish Oaks and Northeast 33rd Street. As an example, if you are leaving Spanish Oaks and want to go north towards Northeast 35th Street, you will make a right turn, followed by a U-turn at Booster Stadium. The design for Segment 3 will be completed by Spring 2017. As of now, right-of-way acquisition and construction are not funded. The project team has met with agency stakeholders as design plans have been developed. This coordination ensures that the Northeast 36th Avenue improvements are consistent with local plans and priorities. 
For more information about this project, please visit cflroads.com. This website is designed to keep you and the public informed about ongoing and future projects. When you visit this site, you will be able to view the current project schedule details, project contact information, and access project files such as this presentation. On the main page from the pull-down menu labeled City, select Ocala, and then click on the search box. When the new page opens, click the link labeled Design. This new page lists all the design projects in Ocala, including the three segments for the Northeast 36th Avenue project. These instructions also are included in the project handout you received as you signed in. Here is how you may share your comments with the project team. You may fill out a comment form tonight and drop it in the comments box. You also may take a comment form with you and mail it or email it to Heather Johnstone as noted on the form. Also, you may submit comments when you visit the Central Florida Roads website by using the Ask a Question button. All comments postmarked or emailed by November 11, 2016 will be included in the meeting summary. If you have any questions or would like more information about this project, you may contact Heather Johnstone, the DOT Project Manager, or Jean Quinn, the Consultant Project Manager. Both may be reached either by mail, email, or telephone. Thank you for taking the time to attend this public meeting. We appreciate your interest and participation in this important project.